higher model HLP21N uh, clothes washing machine and we'll be doing a belt replacement uh, because the uh, inner uh, place where you put your clothes uh, was not um, spinning any further. Uh, when I ran a cycle with no clothes in it, it would show um, that it was working correctly. But as soon as I put a single piece of clothing in there, the weight caused a uh, difference in, in friction of some sort where after about 20 seconds of spinning up to full speed, you'd hear a squeak, uh, most likely from the belt, and then um, the pulley system was shut off, probably due to a safety concern or, or something in the mechanism. Um, in any event, uh, to get started, you'll want to make sure your water input is completely turned off. Um, just match uh, the hot water um, if you're hooking it up to a, a washing machine inputs. If you're in a, a bathroom or something, then you won't have to worry about that. Note that this device is not designed for hot water. So if you are using it in a shower, the hot water can cause um, issues like extremely loud racketing. Uh, you'll see that in other videos um, from other people on YouTube. Now you'll need to unplug uh, the water input hose. It's easiest to do so from the washing machine side with a pair of pliers. Um, in a bit you'll need a screwdriver and this uh, saved me when I dropped a screw inside the machine. Uh, so if you have something like that you might want to pull that out. Uh, unplug the uh, power. Make sure you have a towel handy uh, to catch any water that comes out of that input hose. And then uh, slowly pull out the drainage hose which for me had some water in it. Um, I had it in that uh, drainage hole. Gently flip over the machine and grab uh, two plastic bags, uh, Ziploc baggies. First one's going to be for the outer uh, six screws of this plate. Then you'll want to take off this plate and you'll see the assembly here. Um, the next four screws that you'll want to take off, which really help uh, other people um, on YouTube did not do this, but it'll make things a lot easier. There's four screws here, here, and there, and there. Um, this metal piece is zip tied to the pump uh, wiring uh, right here, and whatever that device is. So be gentle with it, but uh, it can just pull back enough for you to work uh, right here. Okay. Now um, there's this white piece that kind of fell. It was hanging over here when I found it, um, but I think it slips in here when I, everything's done. Now if you take a look at my belt, as suspected it was completely shredded and wearing out. Um, the extent uh, to which that was true. I didn't understand until I got really deep in here. You'll notice all this black material is from the belt and it's shot all over the components and got them pretty dirty. I used a paper towel to um, uh, to clean out the inside track on this pulley. I just kind of put an edge of the paper towel there and used my other hand to rotate this around two or three times. Um, and it just it looks like black soot on everything. Um, so the belt was on like so. It goes around this inside track here. To get it off, I pulled hard up on this left edge until it kind of came up over the lip like that. And I used my other hand to pull on this nut to force the other edge up and over, and it just popped off real easy. Um, to get it, to get the new one on, I'm gonna just repeat that in reverse and slip it on on uh, that side. So make sure 
when you're putting it on that you put it on on the big side first and pull it up over here. And here we have a brand new belt for our higher uh, HLP 21N uh, washing machine. Uh, this is the uh, WD 03501V belt and it matches uh, the OEM belt uh, exactly. Uh, not just on size, but it's actually made by the same manufacturer, which uh, on the old one is completely faded out. Uh, Shang, 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 and the uh, the model number is the same on both belts. It's the uh, 0-408E. Um, the other codes have changed just slightly. Uh, looks like these numbers look the same like a serial number um, but the date of manufacturing uh, is five years later so here we go so I got my new belt on here the issue though is it takes two hands so I can't videotape uh, getting this on there um, but the best thing to do is to have this part pointing about downward or maybe start in that position and put the belt up here you're gonna have to get it onto this top ring first so put it around and start to turn this if you need it to slip onto the the ring here then once it gets there you want to do like I did uh, or like I showed in the first segment um, you pull on this side edge uh, real hard just get a tiny little lip pushed over the edge and then use your other hand to turn this or or actually grab the uh, the star uh, to uh, you know use it as a gear your right hand will keep this from rotating backwards uh, make sure it doesn't go backwards while you're pull, pushing down then all I did was kind of push down uh, on the left here as hard as I could uh, while turning this and that constant pressure uh, eventually got it to slide on I had to rotate this ring about three times um, so I started pushing down on this side and then it had to go all the way around here until the belt was uh, fully aligned and it just did that automatically um, good luck mind that when you flip this back over you might end up with a bunch of water on the floor so keep your hand, uh, towel handy nearby and away from all cords and everything now starting it up for the second time I did a dry run before this uh, without the water hookup. I think having the water not there, uh, even with just a spin cycle, might affect it, but <clears throat> it is uh, spinning really, really strongly now, so much that the uh, machine itself started vibrating. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I'm doing a high level of water, so it's going to take a little bit. Um, As far as uh, the water adjustment goes, I started, you can see the red on the left, I started at the red, went about 50% of where the blue is, and then the uh, waterfall of water there was only about uh, three quarters of the pressure, and I could kind of tell it wanted more, so I turned it up until it wouldn't go any stronger, and then uh, turned the, uh, the blue one back just a little bit. It's going to start in just a second. Got some suds coming up to the edge there. And here we go. No problems. There you have it, folks. Good luck out there.